just as I'm going to start recording, look. There's Mr. Bushka. Hello, Bushka. Look at the camera. You're famous, you know. Anyway, hello, boaters. Welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. Come on, Bushka. And uh, today I'm going to give you some tips about passing boats. All right, yeah, you want to go down. There you go. Oh. Don't work with children or animals, they say. Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. Today I'm going to give you a few tips about passing boats. Now picture the scene, you're boating along a nice straight stretch of canal, and then up ahead you see an oncoming boat. No problem, you slow your speed down a little bit and veer a little bit to the right, still keeping fairly central to the canal but a little bit on the right side. The other boater does the same and they veer towards their right side and then you pass nicely and then you can throttle back up and carry on your way. Doesn't always work like that though. Very often I will have boated for like an hour or so and not seen another boat and then I come up to a really sharp bend and get you guessed it another boat comes around the corner. It happens surprisingly often. Any time when your forward visibility is restricted there'll very often be another boat coming. So in this video, I'm gonna just tell you a few things about that. Be very careful here. You can't see if anything's coming or not. And in the summer, the chances are there might well be. Bear in mind that here, the camera is on the very front of the boat. I'm standing a good 50 feet behind it. So my visibility is much more limited than what you're seeing here. This is a nasty little bend at Shackerston on the Ashby Canal. Fortunately, on this day, the way was clear, but I had no way of knowing. Here's another nasty little bend. There's plenty of them. And in this case, I did encounter another boat. Fortunately, all went well, but you don't get a lot of warning. And again, the view from the steering position is much worse than this. Fortunately, this higher boat, they were not going too fast and they were keeping over onto the rightish side of the canal and we passed okay without incident. I have had several close shaves on this corner in the past though. It's happened several times. It's a very rural, out of the way location and boats often come through here very fast. So, sharp bends, bridges, Bridges on sharp bends, overhanging vegetation, all of these things can restrict your visibility of what's coming. So I think it's wise to make two assumptions in this case. The first thing is always assume, no matter what time of day or time of year you're traveling in, always assume that there is another boat coming around that corner you can't see around. Okay, and the second thing might be a bit controversial, but always assume that they're incompetent and they don't know what they're doing. Now, 99 times out of 100, they will be fully competent, just as good as you are. They'll know what they're doing and it'll be okay. But there have been occasions when I've encountered some really dangerous boats. Um, I've seen it happen. It's happened to me several times and uh, I can't give you specific advice what to do in those situations because every situation will be different. But when you're approaching a, a, a bridge or a blind bend or something like that, the thing to do is to slow right down, drop your revs well in advance so the boat actually has time to slow down. It may take a couple of boat lengths before it's actually going at a nice slow speed. So do that. Sound your horn if you think it's necessary. And keep center right of the canal center. Don't go too far towards the right because you're likely to run aground but just make yourself just over into the right side just a bit at least and then hopefully the other boater if there is one coming they'll do the same and you'll pass all right I had to record pause the recording there for a minute because there's loads of boats going by all of a sudden listen to this one sounds really good Someone should make a music track to that rhythm. And another one. Must be the rush hour. 
Right, hopefully that's the boat rush over with. Now, if you do encounter a boat on a nasty bend or, or whatever, um, it's a bit hard to tell you what to do, as I've mentioned, because every situation will be different. But if you've slowed down and you've got yourself in the right place on the canal, whatever you do should be easier. Um, unless you do encounter someone really incompetent who's speeding and on the wrong side of the canal and then when it's like that then you just have to do whatever you think is best. An emergency stop is a good idea, reverse. Um, if you were not slowing down, if you were just going normal speed and you throw the engine into reverse, uh, your, chances are you'll lose your steering. Um, so if you're going at a nice slow tick over speed and then you have to reverse, you're less likely to lose control of the boat. Um, but yes, you can't, I can't really say what to do precisely, but it's going to be either steering left, right, or reversing, whatever the situation demands. However, there are a few indications that may, uh, you can't see around the corner, but there's a few indications that may alert you to what's coming, if anything. Now, you don't always get clues like this, but I've, you know, all my years of boating, these things do happen from time to time, so it's quite useful. First thing, listen out for any horns sounding, anything coming. Okay, you can't see, but you might hear a horn. Uh, secondly, look for things like ducks or herons flying towards you. They're flying under the bridge or whatever like that, coming your way. They may have been scared by an approaching boat, so they're flying away from it. That's happened many times. Um, but like I say, these things don't always happen, so you know, you'll, it's just a matter of just keeping your eyes and ears open and see what comes up. The other thing that you can do is usually, like if there's a, a bridge on a corner, on a bend, usually you, can see, you can't see around the bend, but you can see a bit of water on the other side of the bridge. Look at that water and see if there's any ripples on it because if there's an approaching boat very closely, the, the little ripples of its wake travel all the way to the edges of the canal. And sometimes you'll see that in advance. So give you a few seconds extra warning if you see that. Now, of course, it could be just a duck or a swan or the wind on the water, but it's worth looking out for these things. They're just little clues. Um, the other thing is you might occasionally get a warning from someone on the towpath um, because very often, uh, depending on which way the bend goes, of course, but someone on the towpath may well be able to see farther around the bend than you can. Um, and I, I've, you know, I've I've warned boats that there's a boat coming. You know, I, I've seen that two boats were approaching on a corner, and I, I've warned one of them. And uh, uh, that does happen, but you certainly can't count on these things. So I would say the golden rule of boating is to always assume that there is another boat coming, no matter what time of day or time of year. And it's wise to assume that they don't know what they're doing either. You know, it just gets you into that prepared state for it. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.